Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your email address if it's not a Hotmail uh, address, how to view the forums, and how uh, to read the interactive uh, assignment uh, again. Okay, if you don't have a Hotmail address when you signed up to my MATLAB, please take couple minutes uh, to change the email address to your HFC hack mail uh, email address let me show you how at the top right of the screen you will see your name just like my name here you click on it you click on account you sign in again using your my step lab credentials Here you go, you can see email address right here, click on edit, change your email address. Let's say if I want to change my HFCC email to a different email, I could do that. Click done and you are all set. Uh, some of you provided a wrong email address by mistake. They type, you know, just the wrong letters or they missed a letter. And that could be a reason why some of you are not receiving my emails uh, when I sent emails from within the my math lab. Uh, system okay so this is how uh, we do this now uh, to post a response in the forum this is what you do you click on start your interactive assignment let's say we're currently in chapter 5 so you click on chapter 5 and then at the bottom let me scroll up okay you're, and here you go you can see chapter 5 forum you just click on it Okay, these are the questions. Once you want to answer the question, you click on respond. You respond like that. Read the questions, prepare them, and then respond. Type in your answers. After you post your response, you can view other students' uh, responses, and you do the same thing for all other chapters. Now, how to uh, do the learning in... Uh, uh, this course online, this is how what you are supposed to do. So let's say, let me go back to the interactive assignments. You click on Chapter 5. There is no Chapter 4 yet, so that will come later. Okay, these are my own uh, videos. As you can see on the screen, there are videos pertaining to different sections. You can uh, uh, view them uh, if you like, but you should. what you should be doing is right here, Section 5.1. You click on the interactive assignment and start assignment. Okay, and then uh, you begin. Uh, let's say you start working on the question and this is something that you haven't done uh, yet. It's okay, you can skip it and then come back uh, to it. There is an issue, you know, with an interactive assignment. Sometimes they put some stuff that you haven't done that, uh, and you are asked, you know, just to work on it right away. If this is something in the section that you haven't been through yet, you can skip it and go back uh, uh, to it. If you want to review the content, as it says here, you can just click on Review. There you go. Let me just... Uh, Relative frequency equal frequency sum of frequencies. That's, and then you can uh, move to the next page. And now uh, apply the rules of probability. This is what you're gonna be learning. You can click on this one. In other words, you can play the animation. Make sure, guys, you play all the video. The two rules of probabilities. Make sure that you play all the videos and there all the animation because this is uh, where the learning takes place. There is not much text as you can see in here. It's mostly videos. Uh, there's another video at uh, the probability model by the author himself. Let's see whether or not this is a probability model. In a bag of peanut M&M milk chocolate candies, the colors of the candies can be brown, yellow, red, blue, orange, or green. 
Well, what he's going to try to check that all the probabilities are between 0 and 1 and they, end, they add up to 1 because the sum of probabilities in any experiment must be equal to 1. And you keep going, you know, from one page to another until you view the, all the videos, uh, read all the text, did all the exercises. As you notice right here, uh, you'll be graded for doing the interactive assignment. It's part of the homework and it will be graded. And I can tell you, if you do not do the interactive assignments, you will not be able to do the homework because there's, it is a prerequisite of the homework. Plus, the, most, the more important thing that you won't learn much in the course without doing the interactive uh, assignments. Now, uh, once you're done with this and you want to take, uh, you want to do the homework, uh, you can simply do this. Let me show you. Um, you just go and you did that, and that will be the homework right there, five, section 5.1 homework. You want to do the quizzes. Uh, let me show you where the quizzes are. You're ready to take the quiz. Okay. There you go. It's right here. And then click change all assignments to quizzes. And here are the quizzes. Your quizzes right there. Um, the guided notebook for the ones who did not buy the guided notebook from the bookstore, you can download the uh, guided notebook from here. This is a chapter five guided notebook. They have a Word document and PDF version. Uh, you can print it out and take notes on it if you like. And the last thing I wanna say, uh, talk about this uh, in this video. Let's say after chapter five expires on February 12th, you wanna go back to this chapter and do some review. You can do it right there where it says interactive e-text. And this is a chapter five. This is the section 5.1. You will see everything that you learn, but there are no uh, homework or, uh, or exercises that are graded, but the whole thing is there. So you can go back to it anytime you want. You can revisit chapter one, two, three, etc., all that chapter by clicking on the interactive assignments. That is all.